Uh, Relationships exist in nature. Yes. Yeah. And, and what we want to do in our mind is get our mental models in alignment with with nature, right. with reality. We want to love reality. So we want to we want to love reality more than our mental models because that's confirmation bias if we love our mental models more than reality. Mm -hmm. So we want we want to kind of understand that hey, there's relationships out there. And we want to know which ones are real. So our mind makes relationships, but sometimes it makes faulty ones. Sometimes spurious. it makes spurious yeah. ones. Sometimes it makes, you know, uh, it's delusional. Sometimes it's um, hallucinates <laughs> sometimes like AI. Sometimes we make relationships for people yeah. to manipulate them. Yeah, or we think yeah. that something happened that didn't happen. So we want to always test when we make relationships. We want to test, hey, is this, is this a relationship that's happening mm -hmm. in, in the real world? Yeah. You know? I want to also just speak into, because in the last couple of episodes, if you haven't seen them, we've been talking about one piece of research, which was a really large sample, which was almost 35,000 mm -hmm. people. Yep. And just to sort of contextualize it, what we saw was among those 35,000 people, if we reduce that to a sample of 10 people, that five people frees up. Well, so it's the sample was 35,000 yes. people. Yes. If we, if we use a metaphor of 10 people to represent yeah, that sample. Thank you for slowing me down. Yeah. So, yeah. So imagine that you have a team of 10 people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Imagine you're giving them a project. To think through. Or a problem or an mm -hmm. issue to think through, right? And what this study did was it found what they do when, when that happens. What we tend to do. What statistically. we tend to do. And what we tend not to do. Right. Yeah. And as a reminder, when you ask a group of 10 people, metaphorically to say, yeah. statistically, we know that five people get stuck. They get stuck. They don't know what to do. Five out of 10 people. Half your team gets stuck. I'm sure we've all experienced that before. Yep. But yes. And then of the five people that do something, what they do is they make identities. Uh, identity. of identity. Yeah. They make identities and ignore others. Yes. Yes. And that's the, the distinction part of what they're doing. And then they break things into parts. Two and a half out of yes. ten. Two and a half people out of ten will break things down. But they don't go up a But lot. they won't think about the larger yes. picture of what's going on. Yes. And so here's the number for R. <laughs> so of your ten people at the table, yeah. only one and a half people. One, one and, and a half, half people. One and a half people actually see relationships at all. Yes, between and among ideas. Which, honestly... It's frightening. It's frightening. It's, it's frightening. It's also kind of like, yeah, that checks out, you know, in real life. In yeah. my experiences, uh, you know, of everybody we talk to is like, yeah, that checks out. Yeah, it's weird. I guess those steps. People don't make relationships. And it's it and and then you know compare or contrast that to what we just said, which is nature makes all these relationships, reality is making all these relationships. A lot of the coolest stuff is hidden in those relationships, and one and a half out of ten people actually even consider relationships when they're thinking something through. Yes, that's that's a mismatch that we want to resolve, and frankly, that we need to resolve educationally. We yes. need to get young people from an early age seeing those relationships. Absolutely. Or put more bluntly, we need to stop incentivizing them not to see them. Because that was blunt. one of the studies that we know of, and we know this a lot about children, is that ch even babies, infants, will, will be uh, more interested in things that are causal. That's right. right. They do eye movement studies. They, they do yeah. eye movement studies. And mm -hmm. and so babies are super attuned to relationships and causality. And like they, they love yeah. to throw things on the floor and then watch you pick them up. And they're like, <laughs> they get a times. great joy out of that because they're like, wait a minute, I just did something. Yeah. And then now she's doing something. And yeah. then let's try that again. Let, yeah. Let's try that with, with this thing over here. Let's throw that on the floor and see what happens. I have to interject yeah. with a funny Alina story. Yes. Because we don't tell Alina stories very often. Oh, boy. But when Alina was still in a high chair, so she was probably one and a half, maybe, yep. um, I was home alone with her. I was making her lunch. And uh, she was in her high chair. 
and the light was off in the kitchen. And she was watching me run around, make her lunch. And then I went and I turned the light on with the light switch. And she did this like double take. Yeah. She said, do it again, mommy. And I said, do what again? She goes, the light. And I said, and I flipped the switch. And she was just fascinating. She's like looking at the switch and she's looking at the light. She's looking at the switch. So she's figuring out as a tiny baby that there's this relationship between that thing yeah. and what's happening. That's exactly right. And I swear she did it for an hour. Yeah. And of course I did it for an hour because it was fun to watch. And then she was squealing and she thought I was God. She just thought it was amazing. Yeah. She's like, oh, you make light. They love action reaction. Yeah. They go. Action reaction actor. relationships. <laughs> they love it. They yeah. love it, love She's it, love very it. Very excited. They get very excited about it. And then yeah. around about third grade, we start, you know, doing the whole standards thing and so over socializing and socialization rather not socializing but yeah, over socialization yeah. over control conformity conformity all this kind of stuff these kids are are natural reality figure outers that's a technical term that's a technical term but they're, they're natural <laughs> reality figure outers yeah they figure out reality Fully. these humans they're amazing yeah. little little things yeah. and they're they're naturals they're naturals at it. And then we train them. And then we kind of incentivize them and train them out of this kind of thinking. But it's a natural form of thinking to yeah. see the relationships yeah. between things. 